Okay, so here is another model for the Rolook competition 2024. Uh, basically for this one, the rules uh, said that we have to use these wheels and make a pickup. And I was researching all kinds of pickups. I was thinking about maybe a Toyota Hilux or something, but that was already done so much. So I decided to make a Hummer EV, which is an, uh, basically an electric version of the Hummer. And this model actually has some very unique features to it. First, of course, we have four-wheel drive, so it has an, just enough torque to spin the wheels. And I'm using uh, differentials on each, uh, basically, axle and independent suspension because the rear, wa rear one also has independent suspension. So we have two L motors as per rules driving the uh, 16 tooth gear and then it's driving the differential. So it's a very simple and reliable drive line. And I'm using the, the CV joints and things from the Ford GT because it allowed me to make a very narrow suspension with a quite high ground clearance. So that's the driving. Another unique thing about the Hummer, it has four wheel steering, which I also replicated here. So as you can see, the rear wheels also spin uh, steer uh, slightly. So they are basically connected to the same motor, but using different gear ratios. So that the rear uh, steering turns at a lower angle than the front. And when it comes to steering, we also of course have a working and adjustable steering wheel. So you can adjust up and down. And when you steer, the steering wheel also turns. As you've seen, all, the four, all four doors can be opened to uh, show the interior here. So I decided to use the red seats and we have proper seats in the front and very, very spacious in the back. You can literally see through the model here. Uh, it's a bench and it's fixed and the whole model is very strong. You see the roof, everything is very structural. And finally, we can open the boot. So it has a lot of space here in the back, so you can put stuff in. And basically in the front, we can also open the hood, but there is no, of course, no internal combustion engine. Instead, we have a boobies here in the front. So it is powering and controlling the model. And you can see the steering mechanism here. So when you steer, this mechanism transfers the steering from the motor to the steering wheel here. And uh, it's around 1,300 parts, uh, around 1 to 14 scale. And I am really happy how it turned out. As usual, I used a 3D reference to make this model. And it's really accurate, really reliable. And I can't wait to see how well it performs in Romania. And if you also want to see how well the model performs, then please remember to like, subscribe, and see you next time. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.